हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज इकोनॉमिक्स एट योर होम बाय प्रियंका राय एज वेल एज क्लासेस ऑफ ग्रीन वैली इंग्लिश स्कूल सो स्टूडेंट्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस अबाउट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हिमालयास एंड नदर्न प्लेन्स नाउ वॉट एंड आई टोल यू ऑल दैट वी डिस्कस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लैंड मार्क्स वी डिस्कस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ माउंटेन्स एंड नदर्न प्लेन्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी द पेनसुलर प्लेट्यू so you can see here that topic is written the peninsular plateau now first of all what is peninsula what is peninsular do you know the meaning of peninsular peninsular means a land mass which is covered from three sides by water okay from all three sides by water is known as peninsular now what is plateau we are going to see the peninsular plateau but before that you need to understand what is peninsular what is plateau then we will combine combine means what will uh, i will not combine peninsular plus plateau like this peninsular plus plateau means we are going to see the meaning okay meaning of the whole term as a whole so what is the meaning of peninsular peninsular means uh, any landmass which is covered by water from three sides is known as peninsular if you see the map open your books and just go through the map in your uh, chapter that is physical geography uh, physical features of india in the geography book you will find that suppose a map is like this okay now what happens here you will find okay ocean arabian sea bay of bengal indian ocean like this so this landmass is whole covered from three sides by water and it's known as peninsular region or peninsular now what is plateau plateau means as you can see it's written the peninsular plateau is a table land composed of so table land like structure first of all just understand plateau is what it is a table land like structure a table land like structure is known as plateau basically it is not from uh, plain surface not from the land it is basically elevated jaise like table hota hai you have seen your tables the four legs okay it uh, the plain surface is plain but it is elevated it stands on the four legs there are four legs so similar like structure on northern plains and if something is elevated that elevated or table land like structure is known as what plateau isko hindi mein hum pathar kehte hain so plateau is pathar so hopefully you understand that what is peninsular and what is plateau peninsular refers to a land mass which is covered by water from three sides and plateau is what a table land like a structure an elevated surface basically it is elevated as you have seen your uh, tables in your home so let us see now the meaning the peninsular plateau is a table land like uh, composed of the old crystalline igneous and metamorphic rocks now i explained you what is peninsular i explained you what is plateau you hopefully you understood that what is table land means now composed of the old crystalline old what is old crystallines old crystallines means the crystallines are very form uh, old form of rocks were deposited and igneous and metamorphic rocks what is metamorphic rocks what happens that when lava comes out it is composed okay that composed form of rocks is you is used for making that plateau so it was formed due to the breaking and drifting of gondwana land as i explained to you students that it was basically due to two plates continental plates what happened somewhere here was indo australian plate and here was eurasian plate so there was a drifting this plate collided with the eurasian plate and eurasian plate was a stable plate so you have you have already studied this concept that collision of this two plates somewhere resulted drifting of gondwana land the gondwana land drifted and then this plateau was formed so the plateau has broad and shallow valleys and has rounded hills now the plateau has broad and shallow valleys what are valleys what is the difference between valleys and the peaks these valleys are small what happens and they have rounded hills basically i explained you let us see one figure so let us understand like this as i told you all that time that it's all one it was all one landmass one landmass was there pange and there's one ocean penthalasa okay 
Panthalassa and Penge you have already studied. Now there was a drifting as you can say northward drift of Indo-Australian plate resulted into collision of Eurasian plate. So I showed you all students that how this Indo-Australian plate collided with the Eurasian plate and finally the landmass was formed then later this landmass the supercontinents all the continents due to conventional current they also got drifted there are basically seven major plate, continental plates and they all got drifted and finally they occupied their own continents they are not separate continents so you have already understood this so now what peninsular plateau this peninsular plateau was also formed as the process was continued so this peninsular plateau was also formed that time and this peninsular plateau let us come back to the topic the peninsular plateau Okay, so this plateau has basically broad and shallow valleys and rounded hills. Inki jo hills hote hain, jo hills are, they are basically a bit rounded type. They have rounded hills. And shallow, shallow means basically bahut gyara hota. They have, they, there is shallow valleys. So this was all about the peninsular plateau. But this peninsular plateau has a broader description that we will be discussing later. You will be studying about Central Highland, the Deccan Plateau, its classification, its division. But this was just a brief discussion about peninsular plateau. In my next video, when I will be discussing about more about Peninsula Plateau or uh, further coming videos. So you will be having seeing the broader concept, a broader view of the Peninsula Plateau. Ke mein. Okay, now I explained you uh, the formation of landmass. I told you about the formation of what? Formation of Himalayas, formation of Northern Plains, formation of Peninsula Plateau. We have discussed. Now coming back to the Himalayan mountains. So the topic is now the Himalayan mountains. Let us see the Himalayan mountains. So the topic is students the Himalayan mountains and you have seen Himalayan mountains very very beautiful the scenic view once if got a chance to go there definitely everyone is going to enjoy yes it's really a very beautiful so the Himalayan mountains geologically young and structurally fold mountains geologically young what does it mean it means that the plateaus were oldest landmass okay the plateaus were oldest landmass after that the Tethys Sea was folded, as I explained you, the geosyncline was, in geosyncline the sediments were deposited and the mountains were formed. So, these mountains continued to be formed, okay, they continued to be formed, they, that, that, basically that is why they are called young and they kept on forming. So, they are uh, considered as young and structurally fold, but obviously there is a fold, it is not plain, the mountains are not plain, they are folded, there is a folded like structure. So, they stretch over the northern border, border of India, yes. See in your books, open your books and open the page of India map, you will see there that they are somewhere here in north directions. Hold this, uh, you will find here, if, suppose a map is here and this you will find from here, a kind of mountain. So at northern regions, basically there is no doubt that they uh, stretch over the northern border of India. These mountains ranges run in a west-east direction, yes, the ranges are there, okay, there are basically many ranges, you will be studying about those ranges two other ranges, P ranges, many ranges are there, we will be discussing about it. So they run from east to west direction from the Indus to the Brahmaputra. Now Indus and Brahmaputra, this discussion about Indus and Brahmaputra, these are basically Himalayan rivers which originate from Himalayas. Inka origination comes from Himalayas, Himalayas are nikli hui nadiya hai ye. Okay, there are basically three Himalayan rivers, Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra. But its discussion is in the next chapter that is drainage. So I will not discuss more about it. But yes, just for intro, I told you all, the Himalayas represent the loftiest, loftiest means, yes, they are the tallest, they are the loftiest mountains and one of the most rugged mountain barriers of the world. They have a rugged surface, the plain surface are not there, the rugged surface, the rugged terrainians are there, okay, and they are basically loftiest means elevated at certain heights. Average height, if you read about the Himadari, it's 6,000 meters. So yes, basically they uh, act as a protection or a shield to our nation. Okay, why did the northern uh, side se, uh, attack? Why? There is no attack from China and Tibet side because who will climb 6,000 meters? 6,000 meters you can understand like this, 6 uh, this kilometers. Okay, so it is very big. The so, Himalayas represent the, one of the loftiest and most rich mountain barriers of the world. Okay, they form an arc. Uh, you, you have already studied the circles, arc you know. So it forms an arc like a structure, okay, which covers a distance of about 2400 kilometer and their width varies 400 kilometer in Kashmir. Now you can see in your books, in your maps that you will see that their width varies from 400 kilometer in Kashmir to 150 kilometer in Arvanchal Pradesh. 
ranging from Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, like this, it varies. The altitudinal variations are greater in the eastern half. So the altitude, the altitude, say, which is height, say, they are greater in the eastern half than those in the western half. So they are much, basically greater in the eastern half as compared to the western half. So this was about Himalayan mountains. Now if someone asks you what can you write about Himalayan mountains, basically they are geological young mountains. Okay, they come, uh, they, uh, they, are, they run from the northern borders, basically they run to east and west directions. Their height is about distance of, they have, they form an arc which covers a distance of about 2400 kilometers and the width varies from 400 kilometers to 150 kilometers. Okay, so this is basically about the Himalayan mountains. Now you are going to see the division of Himalayan mountains. How this Himalayan mountains are divided? We are going to see this also in this video. So let us move ahead. Hopefully you understood that what are Himalayan mountains, how are peninsular plateau formed. What is peninsular plateau? It is a table land like structure composed of crystalline, igneous and metamorphic rocks. Abhi ke liye ab itna yaad rakhi. For the discussion we will be doing in the next video when we will be studying, when we will be having a broader description of peninsula plateau. Okay. So itna to mujhe lagta hai ki aapko yaad ho gaya hoga. You have understood and it is set in your mind. Himalayan mountains is clear. Now moving ahead. Formation of Himalayas, thoda sa dekh lete hain. What is formation of Himalayas? Let us see then move ahead. Formation of Himalayas, friends, you know, according to theory of tectonic plates, that the earth crust was uh, normally a single giant landmass. There was one single giant landmass, as I told you, or Panjai. And there was one ocean, Penthalasa. Okay, students. So, northern part was Angara land and the southern part was Gonwala land. This Angara land was also known as Laurasia. Okay. And um, there was Angara land, southern part was Gonwala land. Then due to conventional current, utha, or plates split okay there was a split and this drift of indo australian plates towards north and its collision with eurasian plate formerly there was accumulation of geosyncline known as tethys in dono ke beech mein tethys si tha jahan pe when this plate when the plates collided when it drifted and it collided what happened this tethys si was folded so ye fold ho gaya tha jab fold hua to some uh, anticline and syncline structure was there as i told as i already told you all earlier so there was accumulation of geosyncline and in the sedimentary rocks due to collision were folded to form mountains system in western asia thus mountain was formed jo wahan ke rocks hain wo sedimentary rocks hain basically ab ye kahan se pata chala ki wo hai to there is no such research or study but yes uh, with certain research and uh, studies it was proven that uh, those rocks are found in that mountains so basically this was the formation of himalayas aise himalayas hamara form hua tha and what is himalayan mountain just now i have discussed now moving ahead to the further division of himalayas how these Himalayas were divided. So let us see now. So as you can see a brief flow chart is there, just a flow chart is there. Just see then we will be having a discussion about all this. Himadari greater or Himala uh, greater or inner Himalayas. According to longitudinal extent, what happens? Longitudinal, some idea, longitudinal extents or further uh, sections uh, may be divided here. Okay, but according to longitudinal extents, there are three, three divisions: inner Himalayas, lesser Himalayas, outer Himalayas, known as Himadari, Himachal, and Shivalik. So, in, uh, I got an image, but this uh, Himadari word is not here. It is Himachal. Okay, so don't get confused. Uh, मुझे ये image मिली तो मैंने ये image ले लिया, and it is wrong. It will be Himachal there. So let us see. Great or inner Himalayas, why it is known as Himadari, why it is known as Great or inner Himalayas, we will be seeing all this. Then Himadari, uh, Himachal, lesser Himalayas, Shivalik, outer Himalayas. Now let us see about Himadari, greater or inner Himalayas. As in flowchart you can see its most continuous range, northernmost range, loftiest peak as I discussed that time also when I was telling about Himalayan mountains, average height 6000 meters, covered with snow throughout the perennial slope contains prominent peaks okay kanchenjunga mount everest various peaks namcha barwa like this so we will be discussing uh, now let's have our discussion or let's see himadari greater or inner himalayas so as i told you all that uh, himalayan consists of three parallel range in its longitudinal extents himadari himachal and shivaliks so greater Himalayas, okay, Himadri, lesser Himalayas, Himachar and finally the Shivalik range. Now the greater or inner Himalayas. So students, it is the most continuous range, yes. Ab, uh, hota kya hai? Ab, uh, map na uthai, uh, continuously I am saying when you are studying this, uh, going through the video, do have the map with you. India map, 
okay along with the uh, himalayan mountains you will find this in your book it is given in your book okay so just have a look of that so you will find mountains there from ranging from kashmir to chil arunachal pradesh okay now it is the most continuous range consisting of the loftiest peak okay loftiest peak there you will find that there is no break peaks continuously chali aa rahi hain there are peaks it's maintained okay there is no break so there is a continuous peak with an average height of 6000 meter that is 6 km matlab uski height kitni 6 km it contains all the prominent himalayan peaks as i told you all that mount everest in nepal kanchenjunga namchavarwa and many others okay so like this the folds of great himalayas are asymmetrical in nature asymmetrical you all know kaise hoga you have studied mass uh, basic concept of symmetry symmetry mein kya hota hai what is symmetry that when you divide uh, it comes in equal part okay if something is there you divide you if you fold a page it is this overlapping it's overlap with each other but himalayas mein aisa nahi hota suppose agar himalayan mountains hain aur usko main cut karu to wo equal nahi hoga okay to basically it is asymmetrical in nature the core of these himalaya part is composed of granite ab samajhna jo iska core hai himalayan mountains hain theek hai jo andar ke part jo core part hai that composed of granite it is composed of granite and it is perennially snow bound and a number of glaciers descend from this range bahut sare glaciers is mountain se nikalte perennially snow means it is covered throughout the year with snow ab himadri ka matlab kya hota hai ye samajh lete hain himadri him is derived from two word him adri him means snow barf adri means pahad to barf se bhara hua pahad ab barf matlab kya kaise barf aati hai question arise hoga mind mein how it is covered with snow to uh, very logical what happens that at zero degree maan lo barf nahi hai but माइनस में जब जाएंगे हम माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस फोर माइनस टेन लाइक दिस व्हाट हैपेंस बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सट्रीम कोल्ड जाता है सो काइंड ऑफ वहाँ का पानी भी क्या होगा बर्फ बन जाएगा सो दैट इज़ व्हाई बेसिकली इतनी हाइट पे है इतनी लॉफ्टीएस्ट माउंटेन है हाइट पे है तो इट इज़ कवर्ड विद द स्नो सो दैट इज़ वाई इट इज़ नोन एज हिमादरी ग्रेट क्यों बिकॉज इट्स रियली ग्रेट इट इज़ प्रोटेक्टिंग इट एक्ट एज अ शील्ड टू आर नेशन अभी तक कोई अटैक नहीं हुआ है इवन मानसून्स कम्स इन इंडिया रिच इन इंडिया एंड यू सी द मानसून जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दोज माउंटेन्स अगर वो माउंटेन्स माउंटेन्स नहीं होते तो बेसिकली यू नेवर ऑब्जर्व द मानसून सो दैट इज़ वाई इट्स नोन एज हिमादरी द ग्रेट और इनर हिमालयाज हिमादरी एज इट इज़ कवर्ड विद द स्नो ओके एंड आदरी एट मीन्स पहाड़ माउंटेन्स तो दैट इज़ वाई इट्स नोन एज हिमादरी द ग्रेटर और इनर हिमालयाज नो लेट एस सी द नेक्स्ट सेकेंड कम्स हिमाचल और लेसर हिमालयाज ना वट इज़ हिमाचल और लेसर हिमालयाज द रेंजेस आर मेनली कम्पोज ऑफ हाईली कंप्रेस एंड ऑल्टर रॉक कंप्रेस मीन्स मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक एज आई टोल्ड यूर दिस रॉक्स द कंप्रेस रॉक्स आर मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक्स बिकॉज the lava comes out and then it is uh, finally cooled down and compressed and altered rocks means different types of rocks the altitude varies between 3700 and 4500 meters so just the altitude means height hai the height varies from 3700 to 4500 and as you have studied in greater or inner himalaya their height varies 6000 meters jo uski average height hoti hai wo 6000 meter hoti hai but here in this case you, you are seeing that it is 3700 to 4500 meters ये एक एवरेज हाइट एंड द एवरेज विथ जो विथ है दैट इज 50 किलोमीटर वाइल द पीर पंजाल पीर पंजाल रेंज फॉर्म द लॉन्गेस्ट एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रेंज द धौलाधार एंड द महाभारता रेंजेस आर आल्सो प्रोमिनेंट वंस सो देर आर डिफरेंट रेंजेस आल्सो बहुत सी रेंजेस भी देखने को मिलती हैं इस माउंटेन में वेन वेन यू विल कम फ्रॉम इन टू द हिमाचल और लेसर हिमालयाज सो देर आर डिफरेंट रेंजेस विच आर फाउंड प्रोमिनेंट वन बींग पीर पंजाल एंड द धौलाधार जस्ट रिमेंबर द टू नेम्स this ridge consists of famous valley of kashmir so if you get a chance do visit the famous valley of kashmir the kangra and the kullu valley in himachal pradesh which uh, just changed the atmosphere and it has a very scenic view very beautiful view this region is well known for the hill stations so basically this region jo ye region hai himachal ka uh, madri aur lesser himalaya ka it is known for the hill stations yahan pe hill stations dekhne ko milte hain and they are really very beautiful moving ahead to the last uh, longitudinal extent that is shivalik so let us see the last one the last longitudinal extent that is the shivaliks now these shivaliks their width and their height do not vary too much as compared to the greater himalayas or or himadri or the himachal so they extend over the width of 10 to 50 km only okay their width is 10 to 50 km and their height varies from 900 to 110 1100 meters okay so this this is their average height 
दिस रेंजेस आर कम्पोज ऑफ अनकॉन्सोलीडेटेड मटेरियल मतलब यहाँ के जो मटेरियल वो कॉन्सोलीडेटेड नहीं है दे आर नॉट फॉर्म फ्रॉम वन कॉन्सोलीडेटेड मटेरियल देर आर अनकॉन्सोलीडेटेड मटेरियल्स सच एज बिंग मर्ड सिल्च एंड सॉफ्ट रॉक्स ओके एंड इज प्रोन टू अर्थ क्वेक्स एंड लैंड स्लाइड यहाँ पर इस रीजन में अधिकतर अर्थ क्वेक्स और लैंड स्लाइड देखने को मिलता है सम नैरो वैलीज आर फाउंड बिटवीन शिवालिक्स एंड हिमाचल दे आर कॉल्ड डूंस उसको क्या कहते हैं डूंस ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल देहरादून ओके तो दिस देहरादून इज फाउंड वेयर इन शिवालिक्स शिवालिक रेंज ऑफ माउंटेन सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एक्सटेंच ओके इफ वी क्लासीफाई द हिमालय माउंटेन्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एक्सटेंस वी हैव सीन द थ्री द ग्रेटर और इनर हिमालय ऑल्सो नोन एज हिमादरी द हिमाचल और लेसर हिमालय एंड लास्ट बींग द शिवालिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द हिमालयन माउंटेन्स एंड इस क्लासीफिकेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एक्सटेंच नाउ इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग फर्दर सो गो थ्रू दिस ओके एंड वैन यू गो थ्रू द वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट स्टूडेंट टू सेट विथ योर मैप्स बिकॉज विजुअलाइजेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रैदर दैन सी ओके मीन्स यू आर जस्ट लिसनिंग टू मी बट इट्स बेटर दैट यू कीप ऑन लिसनिंग एंड विजुअलाइज इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इमेजिनेशन विद द ऑब्जेक्ट प्रेजेंट देयर एंड दैट ऑब्जेक्ट इज वॉट योर मैप ओके इट कैन बी योर बुक यू कैन ओपन योर बुक यू कैन सी मैप देयर और फ्रॉम एनी वेयर बट डू सेट विद द मैप सो इट विल बी मेक यू मोर इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ओके स्टूडेंट्स Thank you